Hey guys, it's Fedor here in North Carolina, and this is a great time of the year to reorganize that tackle and to do some of those do-it-yourself projects in preparation for springtime fishing. Today on this tutorial, I'm going to show you two different uh, modifications to my Deeper Smart Sonar Fish Finder. If you haven't already seen the review that I've done on this fish finder, go back, take a look at that review, and then come back to this particular video. So today I'm actually going to show you how to permanently affix this to either side of your boat or your kayak and also how to keep your cell phone battery or your iPad battery charged for a full eight hour day of fishing. So stay tuned and I sure hope this video helps you out. There's two major limitations to the Deeper Smart Sonar Fish Finder. Number one is permanently attaching this to your boat or your kayak and number two keeping your cell phone battery or your iPad battery charged fully for eight hours. Now to tackle that first situation is I've made my own permanent, permanent flexible kayak mount um, for this particular unit. Deeper makes one very similar to this. It retails anywhere between sixty to eighty dollars. Um, it's gotten pretty bad reviews because it's not very stiff. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to put this together. It works really good and the best part, it's under 30 bucks. So let's talk about the materials necessary to build this flexible arm. First you're going to need a 3 8 inch brass pipe cap that I purchased from Home Depot for just under $5. Some stainless steel flat washers purchased from Home Depot. And this 5 millimeter screw, this is the same size screw that goes on top of the fish finder along with this crab clamp claw purchased from Amazon and a 19 inch gooseneck purchased from Amazon. So first you just need to put a hole right through the top of your brass cap. This is where your 5 millimeter screw is going to go into. Put the screw and the washers together. Cut your piece of insulation and put your items together. And that's it. Okay, so we fully assembled our flexible arm mount. One of the things that I definitely want to caution you on is to add two different precautions to this or two different safe measures in case this were to fall into the water. Number one, add a piece of foam insulation around the core of that gooseneck so to give it some buoyancy, as well as attaching a, a leader uh, with a carabiner so that you can attach this somewhere on your kayak in case this were to fall off into the water you wouldn't lose a $200 fish finder. Um, so stay tuned next I'm actually going to bring to you a tutorial on how to make a 12 volt battery connection to your iPhone or your iPad. Okay so as far as battery options this actual unit is my trolling motor command center um, this I use this to power my trolling motor on my new Canoe Pursuit. This is a 12 volt uh, quick disconnect right here. Um, all this is, you can find a much better tutorial on YouTube on how to actually build this station uh, step by step. It's extremely simple if you know anything about 12 volt wiring. But this, this little unit is a uh, voltage meter in a combo 3.0 USB port that I got off of Amazon for about 15 bucks. Uh, it's just a really easy install with a one inch paddle bit um, or a bore bit and you buy an extended battery box and within this extended battery box it's got an additional cavity open cavity here as long as you're using just a standard deep cycle marine battery which I did purchase from Walmart fairly cheap you can tell that the wiring back here is uh, is very simple it's nothing complicated but uh, as long as you got a crimp tool and maybe a pair of pliers you can easily get this project done um, but the thing about like about this it keeps all of my electronics uh, located in one central spot and so I can actually keep an eye on my voltage throughout the day as I'm using my trolling motor um, I can keep my iPhone, my iPad, and my GoPro batteries uh, charged up all day using the USB ports. Um, it's just a really simple platform uh, for all your battery needs. So to be able to keep that Deeper Pro unit and uh, running that through my iPad, I'm going to use this on my, um, my new Canoe Pursuit and uh, get power all day long as necessary. So, Hey guys, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and go by and check out our website at www.kakiak.com. That's C-A-C-K-A-Y-A-K.com. 
We do these videos for you, and we hope to see you on the water as we paddle, cast, and smile. Thanks a lot. Thank you.